The Library of Congress Packard Campus for Audiovisual Conservation in Culpeper, Virginia, preserves and provides access to the library's vast collection of films, television programs, radio broadcasts, and sound recordings. American History TV visited the Packard Campus to learn about the earliest public affairs films, including U.S. Presidents, the Spanish-American War, World War I, and the first-ever political ad created in 1912 by the Democratic Party. My name is Mike Michon. I'm head of the Moving Image section here at the Library of Congress, the home of the largest collection of film and video in the world. Today we're at the Packard Campus for Audiovisual Conservation in Culpeper, Virginia, a facility that opened in the summer of 2007. It's dedicated to preserving our audiovisual heritage. One of my favorite uh, films that we have in the collection uh, is what we believe to be the very first political ad. It comes from 1912, uh, and this is uh, uh, the race in which uh, William Howard Taft is a Republican candidate, Woodrow Wilson uh, is a Democratic candidate, and Theodore Roosevelt is running a progressive party, Bull Moose Party. Uh, the film is produced by the Democratic National Committee. It's called The Old Way and the New and uh, it opens up with this uh, very uh, rich, fat plutocrat who comes into his office where one of his flunkies is dutifully uh, dusting off portraits of uh, Theodore Roosevelt uh, and William Howard Taft. They're grouped in this together uh, as an example of the old way of doing things and so he's you know got lots of money and he's dispensing favors and there's all sorts of bribes and political corruption taking on they are contrasted with the new way of doing things represented by Woodrow Wilson who's the champion of the common man and the film actually ends with a plea for people to send one dollar to the Democratic National Committee on behalf of the Woodrow Wilson campaign because Woodrow Wilson is for the common man, Republicans are for the wealthiest 1%. Somehow those tropes have not changed in the last 100 years. We have 1.4 million items in the collection, so there are plenty of treasures out there to be uh, to be discovered and the great thing is with new technology that we have not only the ability to preserve these older films on newer film stock but we have a lot uh, more uh, technology available to digitize the film and make them available for people so we've known about the film now we have ways of getting it out there for people to see <laughs>